Hi, I'm Darren Hirons and welcome to this short video showing you how to do a silent enrolment into Workspace ONE. Now the idea of this video is that not everybody is deploying brand new Windows 10 machines and some people might have existing ones maybe that are already joined to an Active Directory that they might want to enrol. So here we have an existing Windows 10 machine, I've already joined it to Active Directory and you can see it here inside the OU in AD. I've actually configured a group policy and assigned it to all the users in the domain. As you can see here, the group policy is set to run a login script, which I've just dropped into the sysvol folder just so that the machine's got access to it. In that same folder, as well as the batch file, um, I've also dropped in there the Intelligent Hub MSI installer, which contains the agent that we need for enrolment which you can see here. If we open up and edit the batch file, you'll see it's doing a couple of things. The first thing is it's checking to see if the device is already enrolled. If it's not enrolled, it's running the silent install command. If it is enrolled, then it will not run the command. So this is a run once activity. So we jump across to the Workspace ONE UEM console, and if I refresh it, you'll see that we have no Windows 10 devices enrolled at present. So all we're going to do is we're going to log in as this domain user to this Windows 10 machine. This should hopefully invoke the script, which should execute and install the MSI with the silent install switches, and it should silently enroll the device as the existing logged in user. So this time we're not using a staging user, we're just going to enroll it as the user that's logged in. And we should see that in the Workspace ONE UEM console. So now we're logged in as the domain user, hopefully the script's executing in the background and we'll be able to tell once it's installed because we will see the Intelligent Hub um, icons appearing in the start menu. And after just waiting a few seconds, we can click back on the start menu and we can already see that the Intelligent Hub app has been installed. So now it should be silently registering the device in the background. So let's jump over to the Workspace ONE UEM console. And we can see that so far it hasn't completed the registration process. So we've waited a couple of minutes, let's jump back into the console and see if the registration is completed. We refresh the list view under devices and we can see that the device is registered. It's not only registered as the assigned user but it's also correctly renamed the entry in Workspace ONE as the name of the user. We can see that the computer name that it's registered as matches the computer name of our Windows 10 machine and if we refresh the console after a couple of minutes we should see that all the remaining profiles and applications etc have been pushed down to the device successfully. So let's jump back to the Windows 10 machine and let's run the Intelligent Hub. So as you can see, the Intelligent Hub has authenticated our user. Uh, this was done using a certificate that was pushed down as a payload. And we are by default taken to the Home tab, which can be configured to display any web page of your choice. 
Next, we have the application catalog. This can be used to deliver self-service of applications to your end users. And can even allow the users to self-install applications directly from Workspace ONE. The next option is People Search, which allows your users to search for other users within the directory. And finally, we have the Notification Service, which allows you as administrators to push notifications out to any groups of users or devices in your organisation. And that concludes the demo. We've shown you how to silently enroll your existing Windows 10 domain join machines using group policy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Look out for more in the series.